Good morning, folks. We've got earthquakes, weather, ecology, animal sixth sense, plasma universe, and Earth's magnetic reversal to discuss today. Let's start with our star, though, over at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours brought the coronal holes closer to central longitudes. The surface activity continues to be elevated, even without sunspots or proper ejections. Now let's go to the solar wind. Telemetry shows plasma speed in purple, tailing off this morning. We've been inside a weak coronal hole stream, but now we exit and geomagnetism takes a half step backwards towards nap time. Two big quakes yesterday, one in Micronesia, and then the larger one luckily hitting at the transition zone of the mantle. Not much to be felt up at the surface. Well folks, Nishinoshima Volcano Island in Japan first emerged from the ocean's surface in 2013 and has entered another eruptive phase now. Caught it on Himawari satellite images yesterday, this island is due south of the mainland Japan. Couple quick weather warnings. I know, Japan can't catch a break. Flood zones from Japan to China taking even more today, unfortunately. And a similar story is set to unfold near the U.S.-Canada border in the Rockies and Upper Midwest. Major flood potential for that one, to be sure. Up next, roses and other members of its plant class are surprising scientists. It turns out they are evolving twice as fast as believed, even faster than in the tropics. Now, after the demonstration of this fact, they turn right around and say, but this is not going to work in a global warming world. Just like they said the temperate zones weren't supposed to be evolving too quickly. Yeah, sit down. Up next, folks, I put a ton of stock in our seismic forecasting model, but chances are it will never beat a pet with good senses. From those household pets to cows, other livestock, and even tagging wildlife, these can provide warnings in nature of that impending earthquake. Live near a fault line? Hope you and Buddy have good communication. Up next, folks, an amazing confirmation of the hidden or extinct current hypothesis that I've added to the plasma cosmology. In our full movie, you might recall we showed how magnetic fields were wrapped around these filaments, indicating that an electric current flows or once flowed within. Well, get ready. Herschel background, Planck fields as the gray contour lines, and one after another, they deliver demonstration of these constructs. In the idealized scenario, a straight line filament has perfect helical spiraling fields around it. Obviously, the filaments of the universe have kinks and turns, but the fields do manage to stick in their appropriate orientation. These filaments, indeed, still do contain flowing material, much of it charged material, but it is likely that the full force and source of the sculpting current and instabilities left the filament long ago or is off-cycle in a wave at the moment. Last but not least, folks, one of the ways they are able to quell fears about the ongoing magnetic excursion of Earth is by saying these things take a long time, and not to worry. Well, no. It turns out that if you take what was the fastest any scientist said it could happen, which indeed many other scientists didn't quite believe, we now know the fastest guess was 10 times too slow. At 10 degrees of shift per year, this means the core reversal period would last less than a decade, and perhaps even faster. Earth's field has already entered the phase of change where motion and field weakening exceed what has been seen in thousands of years, and it's going to get much more serious before it's all over. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Dr. Dunning's video last night is well worth the watch, and I will caution your itch to jump to the comment section without doing your homework. I saw a ton of people make fools of the mirror by not knowing that there is a safe way to fast and an unsafe way. Tonight, I hope to have another special video for you. This one, much more up our usual alley and with a bit of attitude too, so that'll be fun. We've got your wind map forecast and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.